What's up you guys, Garrett back with yet again another stimulus check update. I've been hearing of quite a few people who actually haven't received their first $1,200 stimulus checks. So there's a few reasons why this might be occurring. So I wanted to go over in this video, maybe you fall into some of these categories on why you haven't actually received your check yet. And hopefully when you guys can actually expect Back to receive that $1,200. So according to some recent reports, over half of the eligible citizens in the United States have already received their stimulus checks, but there's still tens of millions of people out there waiting and haven't actually received their money yet. Low-income families, people who don't file tax returns, people who receive supplemental income, and even veterans who receive pension plans from the federal government. Also, self-employed people, people that are self-employed aren't filing for tax returns. Oftentimes, they have to actually pay taxes at the end of the year. So if you fall into these categories, maybe you're self-employed, a photographer, um, a landscaper, whatever you might do, if you're self-employed, we all know that we're paying taxes at the end of the year. So the IRS actually doesn't have our direct deposit information on file. So they're kind of backed up with actually how they're gonna be distributing the money. Also, there's even reports of people having trouble on the IRS website. They're not able to put in their information. They're struggling to figure out what they need to actually do in order for the IRS to have the proper information to be able to pay them what they are owed. So according to the reports, 90 million out of 150 eligible American citizens have already received their stimulus checks. That means there's still 60 million people out there waiting and trying to figure out how are they going to get their money. Most of the people that already got it were most likely people who filed tax returns in 2018, 2019. So this means the IRS already has their direct deposit information their bank account numbers, which makes it a lot easier for them to distribute these funds. And there's even reports of people starting to receive paper checks in the mail. So you might fall under this category. Maybe you got a direct deposit. Uh, my grandfather just got a check in the mail today, but they're starting to get the ball rolling a bit more here. And according to the IRS, this week payments are starting to go out. I'm assuming more physical checks. And these checks are going out to millions of social security recipients who actually don't file their tax returns. If you're one of those people who haven't filed your tax returns, you can expect to receive your money however you have in the past, whether that's direct deposit, physical check, whatever you're used to kind of getting your money in the past from whether it be tax returns and so on and so forth. That's kind of how you can expect to receive your payment going forward. Also, supplemental security income recipients and veterans who receive pension plans from the federal government can expect to receive their money sometime in May. They didn't mention if it was the first week, second week, May 1st, May 15th, but hopefully you guys will be receiving those as soon as possible. There have also been reports of people who claim that the money was actually sent to a bank account that is no longer open. Maybe they changed bank accounts, got a new bank account within the last six months and the IRS actually sent their payment to their old bank account. They stated these people where this mistake was made can expect to receive their check sometime in the future. They didn't give exact dates, time frames, but they just stated that they can receive them sometime later by mail. And they also stated for people who fall under that category is the only way to actually update your information with your new banking information is to file for your 2019 tax returns if you haven't already. Don't know when that change was made where someone might have got a different bank account, but they did state that the only way to actually update this information is by filing that 2019 tax return. And there are also millions of low income individuals who normally don't file tax returns. I believe this applies to people who make $12,000 or less normally don't file for tax returns. These people will have to actually take action on the IRS website, update the information for you guys to go ahead and actually receive your stimulus money. Now there's a last group of people who might be wondering where their money's at, but there are some people who actually don't qualify to receive the stimulus check. I'm sure most of you are aware of the income thresholds that you have to be under in order to actually qualify, but I wanna go over them just in case you weren't aware of this information. So if you're a single individual who earns $75,000 or more, after it hits that $75,000, each $1,000 it goes up to 99,000 is the cap. You're gonna start docking money off of that 1,200 and once you actually exceed 99,000 in income as an individual, you no longer qualify for the stimulus check. Head of households with one child who make more than $136,500 per year do not qualify. Married couples without children or dependents who make 150,000 up to 100 
198,000. That's kind of the same gap where they start docking money off of the checks. Once you exceed that $198,000 threshold cap, um, you no longer qualify. So if you fall under this kind of income range of making more than a certain amount, whether it's an individual, people with children, married couples, if you make more than these kind of caps, that's the reason you're not receiving the money because you make too much money. But that's the recap for this video, guys. That's all the current reports that are out there on the subject. You know, people who haven't received the 60 million Americans who have not yet received their money. If you wanna stay updated with the current stimulus packages, um, current events, whatever's going on in America, be sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I'm gonna be posting content every single day to keep you guys informed with what's going on. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I sure did enjoy making it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one.